Introduction to LabVIEW, Part 6, Arrays. So go to your front panel and search for the Array palette and grab an array. An array is essentially just a list. You can have a list of uh, numbers, numeric uh, controls. You can have a list of strings or booleans or whatever. So right now we have an array of numeric controls. Let's delete those and now we have a, an array of numeric indicators. Let's try something different. Delete the numeric indicators and put in a boolean so that we have a list of booleans. We can also make a list or an array of strings. And you're probably wondering why this is important. Well, there are many, many cases where you want to make a list of something. So specifically in math, we often have a list of test scores or something that we want to find the average the mean, median, mode, or the minimum number. So we're going to go back to a, an array of numeric controls. And we're going to pretend that these are a list of test scores. So let's say it's out of 10 points, and the student had a 7 on the first test, a 9 on the second test, so on. And we want to know how this student did on average, or what their mode, or what their median, or the, what their lowest score, or what their maximum score is. So now we have a list of their scores. And we want to find out information about this list. So let's find, put out some numeric indicators. Let's find the minimum score, the maximum score, the median, and the mean. All right, now that we have our front panel finished, you can press Command E to bring up your block diagram. And you can see that I've actually started this block diagram already. There is our array of test scores. And then there is the mean, median, minimum, and maximum. And I actually wrote all the code for the median already. We're going to do the minimum and maximum together and then your challenge will be to take those three blocks I have already on the block diagram, connect them to find the mean of the array. So you can see we have many options for blocks that work on arrays. We can get the array size, we can build arrays, we can delete from arrays, we can build arrays, we can find the maximum and minimum value in the array, and I think that's what we're going to want for the maximum and minimum. So we'll use that block, and you can see there's lots of other options. So this block is easy. It takes in an array and then has four outputs. One is for the minimum, one is for the maximum, and then the other two are extra pieces of information. So now the maximum and minimum is already finished. These three blocks are what you need to find the 
mean. This one is an add array elements. This is the array size. And there is also a division sign. So you have to think about how to connect those three blocks to make the mean. All right, here is the code for the median, which actually looks kind of complicated. First, we need to use the block for putting the array in order, just like we would normally do if you were finding the median. Then I have two cases. There's a case where the total number of things in the list is even, and there is a situation when the number of things in the list are odd. We want to be able to find the two numbers in the middle if it's even so that we can add them and divide by two. Otherwise, we want to find just the number in the middle for the case that's odd. You see we have a broken gray arrow. Our program won't run, and it says that we need to wire these blocks. So I'm going to delete them for now so that we can see what happens when we run the program. You will still need to write the mean code later on. We now have a white arrow. We run it. And you can see that the smallest number in the list is a 4, the maximum number is 10, and the median is 8 if you put those numbers in order. You still need to implement the code for the mean. It's kind of strange that the hardest code to write is for the mode and the median which for most people are the easiest ones to find with pencil and paper. But either way, the, here are the three blocks for the mean. Your challenge is to connect those three blocks to find the mean.